Now, throughout this series, we're, we'll talk a lot about practical kingdom principles. That I can apply to our relationships on communication and conflict resolution and all that. But what I want to do this morning at the start of this thing is lay a real foundational teaching that uh, it has to be in place if we're going to be making progress, getting whole on our, our, our relationships. I can start with this. Um, Jesus says this, and really, it sums up everything that we could say about relationships in the kingdom. He says, a new teaching I'm giving you, John 13, new teaching I'm giving you, a new command, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Why does he call that a new command? The command to love one another is there in the Old Testament. In fact, you find the command to love one another all over the place in literature prior to the time of Christ. What's new about this? What's new, I think, is the way Jesus clarifies it when he says, love one another, and here's what I mean. As I have loved you, as I have loved you, so love one another. That's new. To love the way Jesus loves us. And the way Jesus loves us is, is most clearly expressed when he gives his life for us on the cross. So John even defines love, love in the kingdom. He defines love by pointing us to the cross. 1 John 3.16. You know, everybody knows John 3.16, right? God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. But 1 John 3.16 is at least as important because it defines what love is. John says this, here's how we know what love is. Here's how we know what love is. Not by some song you heard or by what was modeled in your family or what your intuition says. You know love by looking at the cross. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. Uh, This is the very definition of love. 